Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's Tech How-To, brought to you by iTechra. My name is Dylan Adink, and today we're going to be configuring a Meraki Auto Site to Site VPN between two Meraki MX firewalls within the same organization. Before we dive in, I'd like to explain some VPN concepts and how the Meraki dashboard brings them into a simple cloud-based management platform. The Meraki dashboard is comprised of an organization in networks, as you can see here. The organization tab is where you do some of the more general administrative tasks, such as applying licenses, claiming new hardware, removing old hardware, uh, configuring firmware upgrades, upgrades throughout your organization, and uh, configuring new network administrator accounts. The networks here, as you can see by these tabs, they include your Meraki devices and allow you to configure them for your network. Um, w one of my favorite features of the Meraki uh, product line is the auto VPN feature that it offers. It's a great tool that allows uh, the MXs to automatically set up site-to-site uh, -site VPN tunnels uh, within the same organization. Um, it's super simple to set up and it's a great uh, feature that Meraki offers that saves network administrators a lot of time and headaches because I'm sure we've all been there when we're setting up an old school um, VPN tunnel and sometimes you have a pre-shared key that's wrong or a public IP that's off or changes. Uh, Meraki really streamlined that process by just kind of setting and forgetting and letting it uh, update as long as the MX is online and reachable by the Meraki cloud. The Meraki Auto VPN uses IPsec and AES encryption to secure the tunnels. Uh, these tunnels are great for branch offices that want to access uh, server resources or other resources that are located at the main headquarters, uh, similar to what we do with our Roseville and Winona offices. So as you can see here, our we have our two networks, iTechra and Winona and Roseville offices. Our Winona office is our headquarters, so we're going to go ahead and set that to be our hub on the site-to-site uh, -site VPN settings. And then, as you can see, when I did that, I gained a lot more access to the settings that the uh, VPNs will use. So we can define our local networks that are participating in the tunnel here. I want our Ethernet, wireless, our VoIP, and our client VPN to be able to access the, the network or to be able to access the resources on the Roseville network. And then I want the main VLAN from the Roseville network to connect to these four subnets here. For our NAT type, we're just going to go ahead and keep that as automatic. And then I set up a site-to-site -site, uh, outbound firewall rule here to deny TCP traffic over port 23, which is, most of you may know, that's Telnet, which is not a secure way to access... Uh, network devices. So we have one nine for our source. We have our main subnet of one nine two dot one six eight dot one twenty eight dot zero slash twenty four. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save our changes there, and then we're gonna hop over to the Roseville office, and as I mentioned, set that up as a spoke. So the hub that it connects to is already set to the Winona office. Our subnet is set to on, NAT type is automatic, and you can see here these are the subnets that it's listening for from the uh, Winona network. And then our firewall rules carried over, so we'll just go ahead and save changes. And that's it. That's the configuration that needs to happen. Um, sometimes it can take a moment or two for the uh, configs to update for the Merak on the Meraki devices, and it may also take another moment or two for the VPN tunnel to finally form. It's got to go through phase one and phase two of the uh, Ike process. So let's hop over to the Winona office and see if it's already come up on the send. So as you can see here, now that we've configured the site to site VPN options, we gain a VPN status page. Let's go and check that out. And yep, our tunnel's already up. We can confirm that on the Roseville office as well. Yep, so we're already up there. 
And now that we're on the Roseville office, let's hop over to the appliance status page. Uh, this this page is really nice. It really just shows you a lot about what's going on uh, with the MX appliance. You know, it tells you where it's physically located. It'll tell you uh, what devices are currently connected to it. And then it also gives us some tools where we can, you know, do things such as ping, uh, reboot the device, and uh, some other great network uh, troubleshooting commands. So let's ping the default gateway of the Ethernet VLAN. And as you can see, we're already passing traffic through it. So just like that, you're done. You have your VPN tunnel set up so that devices on your branch office can access resources at the main headquarters. Uh, thanks for stopping by for this week's tech how-to. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like and comment on our page and to subscribe for more great weekly content. All right, thanks.